In this video, we'll learn about the distance and midpoint formulas. Let's start with the distance formula. The idea here is that we'd like to try to find a way to find the distance between two points if we know the coordinates of those points. So let me draw an x and y axis here. Here's my x axis, and here's my y axis. So let's suppose we had the point 1, 3, which is right about there. Maybe I'll give that point a name, I'll call it A, just so we can refer to it later. And I've got another point, which I'll call B, which is up here somewhere, which maybe we'll call that uh, 5, 6. And so the question is, I'd like to know how far apart are these two points? How much distance is there between those two points? That's what I would like to figure out. So how do we do that? Well, what we're going to do is draw a triangle. So what I want to do is find the point that has the same y-coordinate as point A, and the same x-coordinate as point B. That'll be this point right down here, which I'll call C. And you might notice that that's going to be a 90 degree angle. So we're starting to see a triangle shape here, and you might think about what that's going to get us. But first, let's think about what the coordinates of C are. Well, as I mentioned, it's got the same y-coordinate as point A. These two points, A and C, are at the same position on the y-axis, which means the y-coordinate of C is 3, the same as the y-coordinate of A. Similarly, B and C are at the same position on the x-axis, which means that B and C have the same x-coordinate, and so the x-coordinate of C is 5. And that means that I can easily figure out how far apart A and C are, and I can also easily figure out how far apart B and C are. The distance between A and C, this distance here, is going to be 4. And the way, reason I know that is because these two points, since they're at the same position on the y-axis, the distance between those two points is simply the distance between 1 and 5 on the x-axis. And I know that that's 4. So notice that the distance here between 1 and 5 on the x-axis is the same as the distance between A and C up here on the side of my triangle. For similar reasons, I know that the distance between B and C is also going to be easy to figure out. C is at the position 3 on the y-axis, and B is at position 6 on the y-axis. And since the distance between 6 and 3 on a number line is 3, the distance between B and C is also going to be 3. Okay, so what I have now is a triangle, and I know two of the three sides of this right triangle. I know the side I know this side is 4, and I know this side is 3. So what I'm going to use to find the third side is what you might remember as the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So little a is the number opposite the point big A. That's the number 3. So little a squared is 3 squared. Little b is the length of the side opposite point b, which is 4, so 4 squared. And then c is the thing that we're looking for. So that means 3 squared plus 4 squared. We work that out. That works out to be 25. So c squared equals 25. And that means that c is going to equal 5. And so we figured out the distance that we're looking for is that number 5. So in general, what we're going to do is... In general, if we have two points... Now, we're talking about the general case now, so I'm just going to give these two points generic names. So I'll call this one x1, comma, y1. And the second point, I'll call that x2, comma, y2. So in general, what we're going to do is we're going to say to ourselves, well, if what we're looking for is the distance between these two points, then we're going to draw a triangle. We're going to find this third point over here that has the same x-coordinate, as one of my points, and the same y-coordinate as my other point. And how that's going to work out is that this distance, this distance right here, that horizontal distance, is going to be the difference in the x-coordinates. It's going to be the bigger x number, x2, minus the smaller x number, x1. And this distance here is going to work out to be the difference in the y-coordinates. It's going to be my bigger y number, y2, minus my bigger number, y1. And if we're looking for this distance here, then we've got a Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is going to work out to be a, which is x2 minus x1 squared, plus my b, y2 minus y1 
squared is going to equal d squared. And so in general, and I'll write this down here at the bottom so I've got a little bit more room, d is going to equal the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And that is what we call the distance formula. And now I've drawn all these points living in quadrant one, and, and I've drawn them in very specific ways, but this distance formula works in general. So no matter what your two points are, you're going to be able to plug your 2x values in and your 2y values in, compute this square root, and that's going to be the distance that you're looking for. So that's the distance formula. Okay, now let's get into the midpoint formula. So now we're asking a different question, although the setup is the same. We're once again going to start with two points. So once again, I'll draw an x-axis and a y-axis. So I've got two points, which again I'll call x1, comma, y1, and another point over here, which I'll call x2, comma, y2. And now what I'm looking for is not the distance between these two points. That's what we just did with the distance formula. That's not what I'm looking for here. Now what I'm going to be looking for is the point that's exactly halfway in between those two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2. Where is that green point that I just uh, drew there? Well, because it's exactly halfway in between x1 and x2 in the x direction, we can do that on the number line. So on the x-axis, here's my uh, number x1. On the x-axis over here, here's my other number x2. And so the x-coordinate of this point is the number on the x-axis that's exactly halfway in between x1 and x2. And if I want a number that's exactly halfway in between two other numbers, then what I do is I average those two numbers. In other words, I add them together, x1 plus x2, and divide by 2. So why are we adding in this formula and we subtracted in the, the previous formula? Well, in this formula, we're finding an average. We want halfway in between. And, we want, and when we want a number that's halfway in between two other numbers, averaging is what we do. We could do the same thing in the y direction. Here on the y-axis, there's the number y1. On the y-axis, here's the number y2. And then the number that I'm looking for, the y-coordinate that I'm looking for, is the y-coordinate that's exactly halfway in between those two y-values. And halfway in between means that I add them together and divide by 2. So the coordinates of this midpoint, we've we figured it out. We've found the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. So this point right here has coordinates x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And that's what we call the midpoint formula. So that's the formula that we use to find the midpoint between two given points.